Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. And uh, guys, today I have something which is potentially a positive for most of the genomic companies in our watch list. And uh, of course, this positive development is coming from a company that's not on our watch list. It's, it, uh, it's called uh, Sarepta uh, Therapeutics. And uh, I have covered this company earlier. And uh, they have uh, developed a gene therapy for DMD, with, uh, which is uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a condition where patients don't produce enough of a dystrophin uh, protein needed for muscle function and strength. So um, that uh, particular uh, therapy is now going through the FDA clinical trials. And uh, that brings us to an inflection point where I think uh, FDA, apart from beefing up its own uh, infrastructure for handling the uh, increasing number of genomic therapies that are coming for approval, uh, would probably have to do a little bit of change in its methodology. It's already working on several fronts to improve its uh, process so that approval process is uh, much shorter and much less expensive than it, what it is today. In a separate video, I'll discuss another initiative which is uh, going to be a positive for all of our genomic companies that are working on oncology candidates because they have come up with uh, a proposal of how to have a common methodology for accelerated approval as well as regular approval uh, so that uh, you don't have to duplicate the work and so on. But to cut a long story short, this is a good news story. Hold on and I'll give you all the details. Let's get started. Welcome back, friends. Sarepta developed a gene therapy for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a condition where patients don't produce enough of the dystrophin protein needed for muscle function and strength. Sarepta's drug codes for a shortened uh, version of uh, dystrophin protein, and the company hopes to secure accelerated approval uh, from the FDA based on elevated levels of this shortened protein in patients' blood, which is the surrogate endpoint. So note the term surrogate endpoint. Uh, it's not the actual endpoint, it's a surrogate endpoint, which means something else that shows that success uh, of the therapy has taken place instead of actually having the real marker. So on March 17th, 2023, the FDA announced uh, an advisory committee meeting to discuss Sarepta Therapeutics muscular dystrophy gene therapy, causing Sarepta stock to drop very sharply. Friends, it drops almost uh, around 18%. There is a good chance to make some money out here. In my personal opinion, of course, not financial advice. Uh, Sarepta had requested accelerated drug approval for SRPT 9001, believing it worked based on elevated protein levels, uh, as I described earlier in this segment. The outside experts would debate whether the increased protein levels signal a benefit for the patients. This decision underscores the importance of evaluating potential risks and benefits before granting approval for new treatments. Some industry analysts believe the FDA may be exploring the use of surrogate endpoints to accelerate the approval of cell and gene therapies for rare and life-ending life diseases. The advisory committee meeting is set to take place before May 29, the day the FDA will decide whether, the, whether to approve SRPT 9001 or not. While some analysts view this news as a positive step towards streamlining the approval process for gene therapies, others warn that the advisory committee announcement and the FDA's limited capacity could result in a potential risk of an extension of the approval date, and that's the reason why the share price fell down uh, in anticipation. The FDA is taking steps to optimize the development of gene therapies and is encouraging the use of biomarkers in clinical trials to help accelerate approval for therapies intended for uh, serious conditions. The FDA grants accelerated approval mainly for drugs and therapies targeted at rare or small patient populations without effective treatment. This is because for small patient population, uh, a a pharmaceutical or a genomic company may not be motivated by commercial concerns. It's more of an intellectual challenge to come up with a solution. And in those cases, uh, because there is no commercial incentive, the FDA tries to make it easy for them. And also for those patients, there are no uh, major treatments available, so anything would be a better option. And that's why the uh, standards are relaxed a little bit without compromising the uh, safety. So that said, 
um, companies are still required to conduct studies to confirm the anticipated clinical benefit. The agency is director of uh, the Center of Biologics uh, Evaluation and Research Peter Marks of the FDA, uh, believes that gene therapy offers a unique opportunity to expedite the delivery of potentially life-saving treatments to patients with rare diseases, which, are, which cause very difficult living conditions. On 20th March, a Reuters report uh, said that the FDA believes that for certain gene therapies, there may be a need to accept some level of uncertainty at the time of approval around questions like side effects over long term and safety during administration. The statement said, adding that post-marketing tools such as safety monitoring and the possible use of extra clinical trials are going to be key and that the US FDA is moving to optimize the development of gene therapies, including encouraging the use of biomarkers to help get accelerated approval of therapies for serious conditions, according to an agency official. The comments from the FDA comes days after Sarepta Therapeutics Inc. said that the FDA planned to hold a panel meeting to review its gene therapy for DMD, less than a month after saying it would not do so. This raises hopes that Sarepta might possibly get to use the surrogate endpoint criterion that it requested in the first place. We don't have to wait too long to find the answer. We'll get the answer on 29th of May or before that. Uh, in conclusion, I would say that the FDA's recent move to optimize the development of gene therapies and encourage the use of biomarkers to get accelerated approval for therapies targeting serious conditions shows the agency's commitment to delivering potentially life-saving treatments to patients with rare diseases. The advisory committee meeting for Sarepta's gene therapy for Duchenne muscular dystrophy or DMD uh, will provide outside experts the opportunities to weigh in on the risks and benefits of the therapy and the outcome of the meeting will be very crucial for Sarepta's approval pathway. And before we go further, and I talk to you about how it's going to benefit our genomic companies in our watch list, I want to go to the price chart and show you the opportunity that potentially is here uh, in uh, Sarepta to make some money. Uh, here we are in um, TradingView platform, and we are looking at Sarepta Therapeutics uh, price chart. And you can see that there is a sharp drop. Uh, from 16th of March to 17th of March. And this drop is approximately 18.5% drop uh, in the share price. And this happened due to the news that um, FDA was going to hold an external advisory meeting for uh, Sarepta. And um, uh, the, the fear that probably FDA may not allow uh, using the surrogate um, uh, endpoints. And since then, now the optimism is coming back in. So there is still an opportunity to uh, recover somewhere around 9.34% uh, uh, increase in share price. So that's an opportunity sitting out there, according to, my, according to me. It's my personal opinion. Of course, it's not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence. But given the volatile market conditions, this opportunity may or may not materialize because there could be some massive negative catalyst that comes in and this opportunity is gone. But right now, I think that uh, we are ripe to have this opportunity coming in. And that is up to May 29th, before which we'll have a decision. So that's going to be a bit of speculation. So it could not be a straight ride upwards, but it could be a lot of ups and downs on the way to 114.63 at the very least. So that's my, uh, that's my thinking. So um, with that said, I would like to address how this is going to help the companies in our um, uh, genomic watch list. So most of our uh, genomic companies which we have in our watch list have got everything going on either in the uh, end enablement stage or in the clinical trials. So those who are in the clinical trials for rare diseases, they may get to benefit from surrogate endpoints and uh, they could probably come out with uh, the monetization a bit early uh, albeit with the condition that there should be ongoing data submission to FDA uh, to prove the efficacy and the strength and the performance of the uh, safety and performance of the therapy. Uh, and again, the more rare the disease and the more uh, difficult the condition, uh, the more FDA will be um, looking forward to relax the conditions a little bit to allow the uh, therapy to proceed further ahead. I also have some news uh, about which I might make a video at a later date. Uh, I have been reading 
in various places that the FDA is trying to come up with a, a common specification so that accelerated approval as well as regular approval can use the same uh, data sets and therefore they are going to come up with some specifications that's my understanding at a very high level uh, which would um, which would probably be very helpful for many companies uh, in our uh, 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 watch list which are working on uh, oncology targets because it's all uh, oriented towards uh, cancer cure uh, that the FDA is looking at so uh, my friends those are the things that i wanted to talk to you about today hopefully uh, this gives you some joy or some positive uh, feeling uh, because everything all around us is a bit negative at this point of time and um, i i sincerely believe that the fda is trying to do its best by staffing up uh, to uh, meet the emerging uh, rush of uh, gene therapy uh, submissions and it's also in the process of uh, improving its uh, methodology of approving uh, therapies Uh, especially for uh, genomic therapies and we are already seeing elements of that with the uh, case that we are going to look at for sarepta most probably by may 29 we'll find out if surrogate uh, endpoints can uh, now start to figure uh, in the uh, approval process to get an early approval well, which means that the uh, the time taken for a therapy to go from uh, inception all the way through the Uh, clinical trials and bla is going to be reduced uh, and that's a good thing for most of these companies so with that my friends i'd like to bring this video to an end please do not uh, hesitate to put a like out there if you like this video and uh, guys a whole lot of people who are watching our videos have not yet subscribed more than 50% it's at around 55% so if you are one of those who has not subscribed but you watch our videos i just request you to subscribe because it's absolutely free and it helps the channel to grow thanks and have a great day bye for now